Now, how to uh, do the ultrasound of the kidney? Practically, how do we perform it? You see, this is the epigastrium. This is the subcostal region. This is the subcostal region. And this is the lowermost end of the uh, rib, which I can feel. This is the lowermost end of the right subcostal region, or it is the uh, anterior part of the lumbar region. What you will have to do is place the probe in line with the uh, subcostal region, and then give it a sweep of 180 degree, 90 to 180 degree. It will vary from patient to patient. Now, patient in supine posture, when the patient is in supine posture, this is your maneuver. The lowermost end of the uh, right subcostal margin, the lumbar region, rotate the probe, and you, if you get the kidney in total, fine enough. If you don't get the kidney, ask the patient to take a deep breath and then hold it. Lumbar sal ekesaro probe. Okay, now let's study this maneuver first. <clears throat> now, I place the probe at the uh, lowermost part of the uh, subcostal region, right subcostal region, and now I'm going to give a sweep to the probe as I showed you, and I can see the kidney in total. It measures, measure it, 9.8 centimeter in length. And this is the most important diameter, the anterior posterior diameter, it's 4.0. Now this diameter can vary with the length of the height of the patient as uh, in America or Europe, because uh, people have more height than that of ours. Up to 12 can be considered normal, but in our society, we take it as uh, up to 11. From 6 to 11 uh, centimeter is considered to be normal in length and in posterior diameter, it remains same wherever in the world you go. So <clears throat> this should be within 2.5 centimeter to 5 centimeters. It will remain the same. So in this case, we are seeing a normal sized kidney. Okay, now if now here you see, you, I am not seeing to, uh, kidney in total. I will ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Lumbar sa like saropuj. And then, give a little pressure, try to get with angling, uh, with, this is the pivoting and this is the angling. Try to get the full length of the kidney. Now this is the full length of the kidney. This is the capsule. And you can measure again from here to here, 10.4. We're not very much and 3.9 uh, centimeters. Now it must study the uh, with the same in the same position with patient uh, taking a deep breath and holding it, you can study must study this region. This is the upper pole of the uh, right kidney. This is called the lower pole. This is the upper pole. This is the lower pole. This is the, this is called the mid region. And here you lie, here lies the adrenal gland. If you see any pathology in this region, you must see it to rule out any adrenal issue <coughs> if it is there. And uh, then the next procedure is ask the patient to take a deep breath with, uh, again, I'm going to place the probe in the subcostal region, giving it an angle. I get the kidney, ask the patient to take a deep breath. And now I will give it again a 90 degree sweep and I will see the hilum. Now this is the transfer section of the kidney, measures uh, 4.9 centimeters up to 5 is normal and this here you can see the hyalur region vessels entering and leaving. Now see what is the maneuver, see on the patient. <coughs> Let me show you how. I place the, I am going to restart from where I did. Place the probe at the lowermost end of the uh, subcostal region, right subcostal region. Angle the probe. Ask the patient to take a deep breath, Rambasale. And from here, you give it a sweep of. You see, here I got the kidney in this angle. And now I am going to give a 90 degree probe. sweep 
and I get the kidney. So this is, you have to repeat this procedure. Now let's see the other kidney. You will again, now this is the, this kidney is best visualized by patient in left lateral decubitus, uh, right lateral decubitus posture. So the patient is now in uh, uh, right lateral decubitus posture. You place the probe at the, this is the subcostal region, only this is the subcostal region, this is the lowermost part. Just place the anger in line with the uh, uh, subcostal. The, this is the subcostal region, and these are the intercostal spaces. Okay? You place the probe at right angle, this being the uh, subcostal region. When you reach the lowermost part, simply angle it. You are here. You angle it 90 degrees and then angle it. If you are not seeing here, go a bit upwards. Okay, and but you will have to do some angling. Then if you don't see here, you can move it upwards and downwards. This can be your uh, uh, method of uh, getting the kidney in sagittal section or in longitudinal section. Here, you see now where I place the probe. I have shown this, I am getting the kidney. Total, this is the left hemidiaphragm, upper pole, this is the lower pole, this is the mid region, and uh, upper pole is important to uh, study. This is the length, 10.1, and this is the anterior posterior diameter. So, keeping the, now again, see now what I am going to do. You see, I first place uh, for your learning. I am and, uh, doing it again, placing placing the probe at the lowermost uh, part of the uh, left left sub, left subcostal region. This is the low lumbar region, anterior lumbar region as well. And patient in right lateral decubitus posture. I angled the probe at 90 degrees and bent a, a bit upwards. I got the kidney in sagittal section or longitudinal section. Now, to get the transverse, simply you have to move the probe 90 degrees here, and you will get the hilum of the kidney. You will see vessels entering and leaving. See there. Okay? You can, uh, it's not necessary you uh, uh, rotate the probe 90 degrees, you can get it at 80 degrees or at times 100 degrees, but this is, you go almost, uh, this is again to show you the longitudinal section and this is the transfer section. And you can see the hilum with vessels entering and leaving this region, measure the kidney, measure 4.7. So, and now ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. This will give you a better view of the, and then pivot, angle the probe anteriorly, posteriorly, slowly, but so as to get the full length. And then the upper pole, steady the upper pole. Any mass relating to the adrenal band, you will not miss it. So this is uh, how we uh, study the kidney. <coughs> and uh, this is the rest uh, of all of the other, uh, you know, anatomy uh, that you wish, would like to study by to some uh, will depend all on the angling technique, scanning technique of yours, be as perfect as possible in the normal study. Now you see, uh, this is the uh, capsule of the right kidney, sorry, left kidney, we were studying that, and this uh, area. These are the cystic areas, tiny cystic areas, you will see that. And this is the parenchyme. And this is the pyramid. These are all pyramids. This one, two, three, four. And above that uh, hypopoic linear area that you are seeing is the cortex. And then the, if you want to measure the cortex, place the probe, uh, sorry, uh, start uh, measuring from the capsule and go up to the anterior margin of the pyramid. It is 5.9, and if you want to measure the parenchyma, then you will have to include the pyramid as well, and uh, it measures 18.5, it's normal. The same 
you will do at the lower pole, the same procedure you will adopt at the upper pole. So this is the upper pole, lower pole, mid region. For the study of the vessels, you will have to go to, you will uh, have to <coughs> go to the transfer section to study the vessels. But it will take some time for you to be in comfort of uh, seeing these vessels. So, and another thing, if you see any mass relating to the kidney, please do see it, it will glide with the kidney and kidney glides over the iliosaurus muscle. This is the iliosaurus muscle and you can see the movement of the kidney with the respiration. And next, if there is any calculus, if there is any hydronephrosis, that you will see in this region. Now, what is this region? This is the central sinus echo complex fat or the collecting system of fat. The hydronephrosis will be seen in this region and the calcula, any calcula that is seen in, in this region will be a calculus. Any calcification seen in the parenchyma will not be a calculus, it will be some parenchyma of pathology. Cysts, however, can be seen anywhere. So this is the primary uh, technique of uh, measuring, the, uh, of uh, scanning the kidney, how to scan the kidney. There is another way of uh, looking at kidney. Uh, for scanning technique will be, you see patient in left lateral incubator's posture. This is the subcostal margin. Place the probe at the subcostal margin, lowermost end of the subcostal margin. Angle it in this direction. See, this is the lowermost part of the subcostal region. From here, you have to angle it about 90 to 180 degree from wherever you get the kidney. Now, at times you will not be able to get the kidney in this, uh, in, in, by this maneuver. For that, you will have to go into the intercostal space a little above and angle the uh, probe to get the kidney. This is the other way, uh, another way of uh, seeing the kidney. See, this is the uh, lowermost part of the uh, right lumbar region. Place the probe at the lowermost part, angle it about 90 degree or 60 degree or wherever you get the kidney. Shadows, if the shadow is disturbing you, ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Lumbar has the sans Lamba saans lo. Zor se. Roko. Kancho wa roko. Here is kusum jau da. And then you will be able to see the kidney in a, a beautiful way. Thoroughly, completely you can analyze the kidney. And then when you will have to uh, see the <coughs> hyalur region or transfers of the kidney, give it a 90 degree sweep. You were here, give it a 90 degree sweep. You were here, give it a 90 degree sweep and you will get the higher region. Now see it, let's do it on the ultrasound machine, keeping in view the maneuver that I have shown you. Okay. Patient in left lateral decubitus posture, place the probe. I have placed the probe at the lowest most end of the subcostal region and now I am angry it the way I showed you and I am not getting the kidney properly, I am going a bit up here. Now a shadow is disturbing me, what should I do? I am going to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Okay, now you see, as he has done this and we, have, we are getting beautiful view of the kidney in sagittal section and now if I turn the probe again 90 degree you sans level you are seeing a beautiful view of the hilum because this is the transfer section of the kidney and see the vessels entering and leaving the hilum region the renal vein entering the IVC, IVC and uh, right renal artery entering the aorta this is the aorta in transfer section 
this is the IVC. Here you see right pineal vein entering the uh, IVC, and here you can see the right renal artery beautifully originating from the aorta in transverse section. So you can study the uh, transverse section in this way. You can study the or compare the parenchyma. Now, if you have to compare the parenchyma, then the sagittal section is the ideal one. Ask the patient to take a deep breath if you don't get the full view. Tamba sans lege sans loglo. Freeze the image. Okay, sans lege. Now you see this is the upper pole, this is the mid region. Lower pole is being cut off by the gases. Don't care about that. We, because we have to compare the liver, uh, liver uh, kidney renal parenchyma with that of the liver. Now the renal parenchyma should be uh, parenchymal brightness or echogenicity should be less than as compared to that of the normal liver and or equal to that of the uh, adjacent liver. So here we are seeing it ideally uh, that the, uh, the echogenicity of the cortex or parenchyma is less as compared to that of the normal kidney, the normal liver. So this is a normal parenchyma. These are these rounded black areas are the pyramids and this is called as intact corticomedullary differentiation because we are seeing the cortex as well as the medulla and uh, so the corticomedullary differentiation seen intact means the kidney is working properly this is the central sinus echo complex the area where i said uh, the, this calculi will be seen our uh, hydronephrosis will be seen so this is another way of uh, looking at the kidney thank you very much